So the bank alleging that the Bidens took a suspicious wire from the Chinese government and then laundered it through these shell companies. There's many laws broken there. These are very serious allegations. The Associated Press just wrote a story that said there's no evidence of wrongdoing. What a disgrace to journalism. And I don't complain much. I take it. But that's just not true. Uh, we also learned that nine Biden family members have received money from foreign entities. Nine family, including the president's granddaughter, who received uh, a wire that had been laundered to the shell companies from Romania days after the president left Romania when he was vice president. That's hard to explain. <clears throat> the Bidens received over $20 million. My question to you, what did they do to receive that money? No one can answer that question. $20 million. Is there not any curiosity as to what they did to receive $20 million? We also found a Form 1023, an FBI form alleging Joe Biden took a bribe. And what we learned from this is the FBI never investigated this allegation. And in the FD 1023, it said that investigators would take 10 years to figure out where these bribes went because of the, the various bank accounts that they wired the money through. That was written years before anyone knew the Bidens had shell companies and the Bidens were laundering money. And what we see in the, the FBI form that no one ever investigated is a consistent pattern with what we found in Romania and China and other places. We also discovered that Joe Biden's used at least three pseudonyms on over 5,000 emails. We know one of these, his son was copied in, in a pseudonym that pertained to Ukraine. Uh, we've also just recently discovered an email from the State Department, from the Obama State Department, to Victor Shokin, the prosecutor who Joe Biden fired in Ukraine in exchange for the billion dollars, praising him for the great work that he did. But there was this narrative that Joe Biden created that said Shokin was corrupt and he needed to go over there and be fired. But we have an email weeks before Joe Biden went over there praising Shokin for the good work he had done in reforming corruption from the John Kerry State Department. We also have testimony from Devin Archer saying that at that same time period, Joe Biden went to Ukraine to fire the prosecutor, that Hunter was being squeezed by the owners of Burisma to call D.C. for help. This is all in a timeline here. This is why Speaker McCarthy launched the impeachment inquiry. And I think... The CNN poll two weeks ago that showed 63% of Americans believe Joe Biden was involved in his family's business schemes is reason why we should be investigating this. Moving forward, we have, we have requested unredacted pseudonym emails from the National Archives. There are over 5,000 of those that we want to review. Uh, we have to get uh, Obama, President Obama has to sign off on those. So he's supposedly reviewing them as we speak. We hope to get those. Uh, we hope to get uh, the president's son and brother's personal bank accounts. We uh, also want to interview people who have knowledge of some of the things that President Biden may have done in exchange for the millions and millions of dollars that his family received uh, from these foreign nationals. At that, I hope I answered some questions as to the evidence that has been found, the purpose as to why uh, we have moved to impeachment inquiry and the path forward. We, what I said in January holds true to today. We are following the money and we will see where that leads us.